so we had a situation, I think, last week, it was four days, this sort of like the second raid after the DCI was, you know, go, uh, seeking, you know, court permissions, warrant, warrants of, of um, I think, arrest or to, to get you to his house. Um, and so this is sort of like a second raid, you know. To which, was the, the, which was the first to, one? To, or the second raid, quote unquote. Let's, see, <laughs> let, let's use the first one, right? Is in a, you know, okay, a, a, a raid to confirm there was no raid. That's a situation that we find ourselves in. The information again I got because I also read in the papers. You know, I've been out there all along. I, even now, I came this morning and I'm taking off again tomorrow. Um, the information I got is that uh, the DCI wanted to get to the bottom of this matter and uh, the former minister went to court and filed an affidavit saying there are things the police want to do against him and he got anticipatory bail. So because the police are uh, the accused, they also went to court and uh, convinced the judge that uh, for, for, for them to be able to acquit themselves from the allegations, they needed to investigate the CCTV and other evidence, other material, with a view to establishing the veracity of the original claim that there was a rage in that house. And the court agreed, according to the report I got from the DCI, uh, the director of DCI, because I also inquired, uh, as, as, as is expected of me, he said they got a court order uh, saying that they can get hold of that evidence for purposes of assisting the investigations to get at the bottom of the allegation which had been made and an allegation which had generated an anticipatory bail uh, from uh, the courts. So I was again assured that that was done pursuant to the law uh, and that is the only uh, uh, access that I know of police officers in the private home of the former minister. The other one we are still waiting for investigations. As a, as a professional courtesy then, would, would you have spoken to your predecessor to find out what exactly this is about or, you know, or it's of no use? It's a genuine question. Uh, as I have said, we, we, we wouldn't want to politicize or personalize security matters. And, um, my desire is to make sure that as minister, every Kenyan feels safe. Every Kenyan, when they see a police officer on the streets, should feel protected and safe. Doesn't matter the rank. So, of course, my predecessor uh, deserves to be treated with dignity as a former state officer. Alongside many other state officers who have served this country, well, I'll be interested, the same way I'm interested with that other person out there in Baragoy who is uh, being harassed by criminals. And so, um, as I've said, this matter is of interest to me and uh, I'll remain seized of it until we get to the bottom of it because we don't want to turn our country to a country of witch hunt and pettiness and we cannot use security apparatus to punish people simply because they are not in office because as i have said everybody who is in office will leave office at some point everyone who is in office will leave office doesn't matter who they are so i'm careful not to use my time which have been given uh, by the people of Kenya through the president, I wouldn't use my time to try and hurt people, uh, demean people, or treat people unfairly, because I'll also be a former minister.